Congratulations on finishing. Um, you did wonderful. We have a few questions that came in through Twitter. Uh, the first one was, do you take offense to the term LGBT versus LGBTQI? No, not at all. I usually say LGBTQI because I think a lot of people are now adopting the word queer um, as kind of like an overarching uh, label for lesbian, bi, queer, questioning, whatever you want. And I think that Q is is part of that. And I also think that intersex people belong in that category. Um, so that's what the I is for. So that's why I usually just say it all. So it's just an extra that you that you say that, but it's the other the other isn't necessarily offensive. Oh, no, You're not You're just at trying all. to include everybody. I'm trying to not get in trouble by leaving anybody <laughs> out, which I probably will. There might be like, there's a lot of other things that some people right. say, so yeah. Right, okay. And then the second question was, in your ideal vision, this is from Cheryl, in your ideal vision, how can straight white married me advocate for safe and accepting environments? So basically, I guess, how to be an ally. Yeah, I mean, I think something that's really important that allies can do nowadays is talk to their um, Congress people about changing bathrooms or kind of like incorporating a genderless bathroom into public, any public building. And I think that's something that ha people have been advocating for in the past couple of years a lot. And I think it's really helpful to a lot of people. So that's one thing I could say. Okay. Yeah, um, specifically about the gender, you know, expression thing. Right. But um, in general, I would just say supporting local queer organizations is really important and kind of just making yourself known as an ally is like kind of the first step of getting involved in all kinds of things and donating time and, and money to organizations that do good things in your neighborhood. Okay. So, yeah. And then the question that I had, we discussed a little bit earlier about how the, the Northeast Ohio has made strides since you lived here. Mm -hmm. Where it's made strides, where is the battle going now, either in Northeast Ohio or nationally, from your from your perspective? I think that's a a really complicated and compound question because it really depends on who you ask. Um, okay. You know, I think everyone, the internet has kind of provided this incredible space for people to focus on different elements of you know equality for LGBTQI people all over the country, and I think. Right now, there's definitely a motion towards like this genderless bathroom thing. And also, I think, you know, some people feel complicated about gay marriage, but I think that's a really big deal. But I also think um, acknowledging people's relationships who are in partnerships with people who are outside of the country uh, and giving them green cards is like a really important thing that hasn't happened 100% yet. So, so those steps. Yeah. Moving. What, Those what do you are kind see of things that I'm goal, focusing then? on. Um, I think the end goal is that gay people are the same as straight people, and everybody is treated the same all over. Before the eye of the law and yes. in society. Yeah, totally. Okay. Both. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. And again, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs>